Hi. Uh, sorry I didn't stream for like over a week. <laughs> I was um I was pretty busy last week. Um, but I I have returned. I'm gonna be doing another fort in that same world as last time. Hi, um, Tybo's Trey and Alice. Oh yeah, and um, <laughs> I posted them in the chat before, but I have, I made some emotes, so it's not just like the shitty, like, one emote that I made. <laughs> like the emote that I made literally in MS Paint. These ones have, like, slightly more effort put into them. I do like the spinning crap. <laughs> it looks so dumb. There is, there are no thoughts behind those eyes. Just head empty, just spinning. <laughs> Glittery rainbow and you card. Why is your um, text pink there? Is that what you're putting? I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's that's interesting. Huh. Anyways. Have it? No, I haven't. How, how did you do that? Is that just like what happens when you put it in like asterisks? Hang on. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> Slash me, really. Without the curtain stuff. Huh. Yeah, I, ha I had no idea that was a thing. And mine is uh, my name color, I guess. Too <laughs> young? What do you mean? Yeah, typos is pink as well, looks like. And Trey. So you use a color. Yeah. Is there anything else I wanted to talk about before I started stream? Um, I don't think there was. I think we should just get into it, I guess. Uh, so I'll go turn that music off. Go... Um, here. There we go. It's because she's dumb. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm not, I'm not like a very like tech savvy person, I guess. You know, despite going to uni for a software development for six months, it's not something I'm good at. Um, but anyways. Uh, Dwarf Thought, I guess. Did I set my um title correctly? Okay, I did. Good, 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 good. Uh, start new game in existing worlds. I think we were the domains of oracles, weren't we? Grand IRC heydays or whatever, I guess so, yeah. So, I did have like a, um, an idea for what to do for this fort. I'm thinking maybe like, um, because the previous fort, like, the goal was to, um, like, build a, a fort where they, um... What's it called? I mean, brain is fine. We build a fort where we, like, um... Do, like, armor smithing, right? And, um... Like, train a bunch of legendary armor smiths to, like, export armor back to my civilization. And... The fort died because a zombie got in and killed everyone. <laughs> so... Eventually, we're gonna do a second attempt at like the the armor smithing fort in like a different location, I guess. Uh, but for this one, I want to do something like kind of different. So maybe like I was thinking like a like a beach fort, and we make like a like a vacation hangout spot or something, something silly like that. Not as big of a deal as it used to be. Yeah, I guess so. Um. I, don't, I have no idea where we can embark for. Tropic 
purple salt water marsh. It's like the scorching of here. Uh, do we want to go like on a different island? I don't really know. Tropical shrubland. There's also like Elf Island over here. Maybe we could live on Elf Island. There was like a bajillion different um forest retreats here. Um Timeshare scan? I'm uh, not really sure what you mean. Sorry. One moment, sorry. Um... There we go. Something is Matrix. Like the Matrix? What the heck? What's this little island up here? The land of burns. It's scorching and untamed wild. Sounds lovely. Not techy enough for that? I, I'm probably not. Yeah, <laughs> don't really price holiday rentals that are very hard to get out of the contract for. That sounds about right. Yeah. This is the land of raining, but it's hot, so I wonder if it would actually rain there. I think when it's like scorching, it like counts as a desert, and it doesn't rain there or something. I'm not actually sure. Using matrix is easy. Yeah, but I don't code. <laughs> Tropical Grassland. This is the Island of Spirits. Actually kind of a cool name, to be honest. This is the the humid land. It sounds miserable. <laughs> what are the rivers here called? The Palm of Intricacies. Oily Point? Oily Point is the, is the name of this stream. Okay. The Shriek of Voices. This sounds like a haunted stream. It's Melbourne. Melbourne's not that humid. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. It's Typo's home, right? It's a bit hot, isn't it? The Friendly Island. And it has places like the Good Fields. Oh my god. The Quick Maya. The Crystalline Maya. Maya. Oceans of Blushing. The Friendly Island is a pretty great name. It is Untamed Wild, though, so it's actually not friendly. That's very funny. The Wondrous Continents. The Organized Island. <laughs> also a pretty great name. Change your city's name to the Humid Land. Northern part of the island looks like you'll say. Yeah, I guess it kind of does. Calm down. Doesn't count as a city. I mean, like, a small city can be a city, right? The land of dominating and the warm prairie. The velvety murk. And the dune of grasp. What else have we got? What's this island? The island the land of chucking. Yeah. The hills of deer. What a, wouldn't it be funny if we went to the hills of deer and there were no deer? I would probably laugh. Your state is being insulted. If it's a city where you live is a mega city? I don't know about that one, chief. The worshipful jungles in the land of chucking. I love the land of chucking. That's a good one. Forest of raining. The dunes of grizzle. The lean dunes. The Hill of Shell, yeah. Kissed Spell is the name of the stream. And Teeth Servants, that's a horrible name. Slime Loot the Vermilion S something, it's too long to fit on the thing. Hardy Hummed the Test of E, yeah. Sewer Muds, a joyous stream name. The Plate of Kah. 
Very good. Literally cows in a two minute walk, yeah. Entire state doesn't even have a population of a city. <laughs> yeah. It should be like that. The island of oceans? But the whole point of an island is, is that it doesn't have an ocean, it's in the ocean. This is still all the oceans are blushing. Is this whole thing the oceans are blushing? Yeah, I guess it's just everywhere on the outside. This is the oceans are blushing. Island of Oceans is also a pretty great name. What else have we got down here? The continent is an isle, yeah. The land of cobras. Ooh. The desert of dipping. There's so many great names in this world. The Dunes of Drink. But there's no war. I guess there's an alcohol. That's fair enough. The Ultimate Hill. Yeah, the Ultimate Hill. <laughs> okay, well, Northern Territory is not that bad. Like, like WA exists, right? Actually, no, Queensland exists. Queensland is the worst state, right? An ant infestation? Ay, ay, ay. Hey, hey, Rail. Gate impaled the bloat of dot dot dot. Island of Will. The land of limbs, yeah? Cool name. The Dune of Sharks and the Patent Hill. Queensland is dog shit. True. <laughs> the Free Land. The Coastal Island. <laughs> yeah. Also a pretty great name. The Hill of Destruction. The Island of Drums on the Righteous Tundra. The Silvery Land. The Merged Island. The Adorable Island. That's a good one. The Mischievous Plains. The Jungles of Deteriorating. The Tacton Hill of Ash. The Jungles of Kin. And the Ferocious Hill. The best description I heard is anywhere else in, in Australia, people will say they're from Australia. In Queensland, they say they're from Queensland, yeah. <laughs> Highest rate of drinking and crime per person, lovely. Yeah, that is true, Trey. Like, everyone's just getting... Cost of living is getting worse, like, everywhere, and, you know... Things are getting worse because of it. The Island of Whiskers is also pretty good. I really like the adorable island, though. Thinking maybe we should go there. The Hollow Island. The Round Land? This is the least round piece of land on the entire map. What do you mean, the Round Land? <laughs> the Island of Moons. The Land of Cyclones. What's this one? The Slow Island. And the circular jungle. <laughs> so many round and circular things here. The Island of Halls. What was Elf Island called? It's the Skewered Island. Ooh. Round means something different in Dwarvish. Do, does it now? The Land of Alliance. The land of dominating. Wait, we looked at that one before, didn't we? Um, the human island is called the Continent of Knives. Yeah. They do. They do be given the rich tax cuts. This is true. Um, we got any other like funny islands? The submerged land. How is this land submerged? It is it is very clearly. I mean I guess it does have a lot of like saltwater marshes here, so 
You know what, I, I buy that. It's like half underwater. Sure. The Island of Orbs. Orbs. It's marshy, yeah. The Friendly Islands. This was one of- what's this one? The Land of- no, we already saw the Land of Barns, didn't we? I think we've kind of looked at most of them. What's this? That's also an ocean. The Sea of Charcoal. The Last Land? I'm kind of... I kind of like the idea of like settling in this little lake here. Just like sitting on this little island here. Could be fun. What's this though? The Portinous Island. The Crystalline Hill. The Wordy Field. Dune of Nourishment. Um... I don't know, what, what, what do we feel about this little island here? I kind of I kind of like that idea. Um, where are we? Odorous portals. There's Berry Brew again. I guess this is also like maybe the island of warmth. Where's our sieve again? We're all the way down here, yeah. Maybe we go this one because it's like closer to our horns. Our Horn sieve? Uh, home sieve. I can go to the... The, uh, the wordy field here, maybe? Um... The lauded hills. Cold temperature. No trees whatsoever here. I think, uh, what we'll do... We'll just do like a, um, uh, I'll go like this, I think, yeah. We'll just go play now and then we'll reset if we don't like it. Hello. What do we got here? We've got a little hill, we go down and we got an ocean. I don't know what I was expecting. This sure is an ocean there. Oh, for those who haven't seen, if you go into ASCII, you can actually see the, um... Oh, never mind. Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, you can see the ocean waves rolling in. But only in ASCII, which is weird. So if I go back to classic graphics... Nothing. You're doing bureaucracy? Yeah, hopefully that's all sorted soon. Like, you can see the, um, like, the ocean mist kicking up here from where the wave crashes into the shore. But you don't actually get to see the actual waves unless you're playing in ASCII. Like, isn't this cool? Look at him go. I wonder if there's anything on the map here. Let's have a look. Sea otters! <gasps> Babies! A small marine mammal with a long body, they enjoy eating shellfish and other small animals. You know what? I think we'll, I think we'll go here, yeah. I kinda like this spot. Why do we have- oh, I guess my dwarves are fishing. Raw flounder, raw spotted ratfish, lovely. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll embark here, so let's go back into the Domain of Oracles. Getting up for food on the stove. Alright. Bye bye. Just kind of got to like wait for the young. Um the embark thing to go on again. What am I saying? You know what I'm saying, right? Mm. There we go. Alright, so... Odorous portals. And our little island here. 
someone selling a brand new set of old terrain tires in Sydney for a really good price? Yeah? Is that so? I have the Jenny carefully. I don't know if I even want an animal, like, to, to bring animals. Like, I kind of just want to do, like, fishing. Fishing for. Cats? Yeah, we, we could bring cats, I guess. Bring some kitties. There we go. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's about right, isn't it? Um, so I don't want those. I don't, what do I even bring here? Maybe I could bring like hunters. You know what? Fuck it, I never do like hunting. We'll do hunting and fishing, I guess, instead of uh, raising animals. And we should probably bring some wood, I guess. Maybe like sand pear wood. That sounds good. Yeah, we'll bring a couple extra cats as well. Yeah, click as fast as I can here. Hang on. <laughs> you might have enough logs. Bring 111, I guess. Why not? Um, maybe bring some, some extra, like, pump helmets or something, just to kind of get started on farming. Bring a little bit of extra, extra drinks, because we have, like, a bajillion points to spare. Can you make underwater glass dome rooms? You can, yes. Uh, it's much easier to do if your ocean freezes during the winter, because then you can like, you know, just like dig away the ice and like build your thing. Um, but if it doesn't freeze, you can still kind of do it with pumps. It's just like really kind of like weird and finicky. It's but it's like it's something that's like totally doable, yeah. Um, I guess we'll bring some more, like, some more of those, I guess. Oh, wow, we're actually out of points. Alright. Um, then for the dwarves. I mean, they can, like, train the dwarf. I'm not too worried about that. Why don't we just go with, like, old peasants? It's a holiday place, right? We're going for a holiday. We don't really need anyone who's, like, super good at anything, right? Yeah, they can all just be peasants, I guess. So, fortress name, trade seal. Um, wake, wave, something like that. Wave. <laughs> Food and drink. Yeah, well, um, you don't technically need a chef. Like, if they do cooking, they'll train, like, food and drink. Which I, I think it's fine. They can just do that. Wave burials? Hopefully not. Wave flushed is kind of good. Wave vine, wave dip. Wave brussel, wave honor, wave boards, wave fisher, wave nestle, wave poison. Wave despair, wave breaker. Wave breaker? Hang on. What do we think about Wave Breaker? Like, and then we build the fort maybe like out over the water or something. So then like the, like the waves are like, um, you know, breaking against the side of the fort. That's kind of cool, I think. Yeah. You know, this might be the first time I've ever like clicked random and come across something that's like actually cool. Like a seawall. Yeah, like a seawall fort or something like that. Wave Crest is also pretty good. Do they have crests as well? They do, yeah. We've crested. Crests. Yeah. 
I think I kind of like break up. Wave break up. Harbor with a fake break. I've seen people do that, yeah. Like I've seen people make like um like fake trade ships in their forts and they like fill the trade ships with like like um goods that the mortars have, so I just use them as like storage, which is super cute. The roof of barbs. The fisher of fishes. <laughs> um, the fisher of, or like the sleeper, the the relief, the fisher of price. That's pretty good. Can we do that actually? This price word. Prices. The Fisher of Prices. That's kind of close. Oh, there are some like some like funny ones you can do. Like uh, just clear these for now. Uh, like you can do bulbous. Oops. No, what is it? Bulbous. There's there's some way you can name a place like bulbous saw, or maybe it's like saw. Yeah, bulbous saw. <laughs> Or, um, you can do star field, or you can do, um, some other good ones. I've seen, like, a few of these around. Uh, oh, another good one. Rim. Rim what? <laughs> uh, oh, and, um, Blind actually had one of, like, this is one of his four names. It was like, Boulder, Boulder Gate, or like, Boulder's Gate, or something like that. <laughs> it was good. Rim all the way better game. Nah, -uh. Wrong. Yeah, let's grab, some, let's grab one of these. The Lesions of Nature. The Pushes of Dinner. The treaties of dinner, the treaties of dread, the woman of dread, <laughs> the tribe of dread, the goal of dread, the saint of dread, the order of dread. The order of dread sounds like a cult fort. The mushrooms of dread, the sword of dread, parody of dread, the gulf of dread, the gulf of something. It's maybe there. that's like kind of oceany themed almost, right? The vegetables of dread is pretty good. Sea is often characterizable and inclusive. That is true, yeah. That is a um a cool little little connection there that we could do maybe. Destiny of dread. The silkiness of dread. The lobster of dread. I'll keep the lobster for now. Become crab. Alright. There we go. Lobster scale. The lobster of pimples. Ugh. Lobster of emancipation. Lobster of Master, the Lobster of Soil, Lobster of Rawness, Spinning Crab, I love the little spinning crab, the Lobster of Labor, Lobster of Buds, Lobster of Infection, of Mortality, Master of Chills, Poisons, Lobster of Relax, I don't think relax is a word. It's like relief. Oops, I put that in the wrong box. Hang on. Lobster of relief. The lobster of relief? Maybe. The lobster of deck chair. <laughs> um, hmm. The lobster of diving? Maybe something of diving? Or like the... The dive of... The dive of beer? <laughs> Maybe... The dive of... Snorkeling? No, there's no way snorkeling is a word. Um... Of knowing, of blocking, of bowing, of packing, of clobbering, of skinning, of jester. Menace, kegs, modesty, diamond. Blah, 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 blah. 
<laughs> um, I don't know. What are some more like ocean themed words we could do? Like maybe like um, the wave of spray or something like ocean mist. The wave of mists. Wave of mists is like kind of cool. The type of sleepy lobsters. I don't think sleepy is a word. No, it's not an adjective. Not. Nope. I kind of like the wave of mist though, or maybe the mist of waves. Yeah, the mist of waves. Sodoka. Or maybe, maybe. The sound of waves. I like, I like listening to the sound of the ocean, right? Yeah, I like the sound of waves, let's go with that. Then the group symbol is a dwarf, an object, can we do like chair, can we do like throne, throne, yeah, and a drink, and a drink, and a coconut palm, drinking, yeah, then the shape is the Shining sun. And is it like ocean? No. Maybe wave? No. Is it in shape, maybe? Yeah. There we go. A dwarf, a throne, a drink, a coconut palm, a shining sun, and a wave. Um. The dwarf is admiring the drink. The dwarf is contemplating. The dwarf is sitting on the throne. Can I do something like that? I always say this every time I do one of these symbols, but like so many of the options here are violent. It's so hard to make some like an image that isn't about like killing things. It is flayed, mutilated, tortured, shot, burning, uh, dead, devouring, falling, fighting with, hanging from. Like, there's, there's like so many of these. Killing is the most bad. I guess that is true, right? Especially in like, like, war banners and things like that. Um, I just want like, the dwarf is like, lying down in a fetal position. It's not really the same thing there. Uh, the dwarf is, the dwarf is not suffering. The dwarf is not weeping, the dwarf is not unnaturally contorted. It's not withering away. <laughs> um, maybe he's just laughing. Sure, dwarf is laughing. The, the dwarf sitting in the chair is implied, I guess. I don't really know how to make the dwarf like look like he's sitting in the chair. So then the shining sun or the wave, maybe? Uh, was, I know there's like greeting here, yeah. Then the wave is greeting the shining sun. So I kind of imagine like the waves like crashing towards the beach and it's like glinting in the sun, right? And the coconut palm is, can I do like waving? Weeping? This suffering. The coconut palm is... Cooking? I don't know. Maybe, maybe the coconut palm could just be there, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so then we'll name it the. the. the relieved. Dwarf? Oh, yeah! Fun, fun dwarf fortress fact. There is no dwarven word for dwarf, so you can't put dwarf in your names of things. Or like, or like elf, or like human, or any of those. It's kind of funny. And the reliefs, uh, drinker. That works. That's the third time you said this. Yeah, but like some people here might not know, right? 
I don't know how many people are here. Maybe, maybe someone didn't know. Um, the reliefs, uh, I'm kind of surprised there's no, like, sleeping, right? I bet you just forgot. I didn't. I know I've said that before. I swears. The relief drinker, sure, we'll just go with the relief drinker, I guess. Uh, it is an image of a dwarf, a throne, a drink, a coconut palm, a shining sun, and a wave. The dwarf is admiring the drink. The dwarf is contemplating. The, la the dwarf is laughing. The wave is greeting the shining sun. Done. Uh, let's go, I guess. 70 unpick skills. All good. They're all, they're all peasants. They're all just chilling. Alright. A dwarf and outpost. You have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh track has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for all the glory of Kebon Nistung. There are almost no supplies left. With south labour comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plough or hook, provide for your dwarves. Uh, you're expecting a supply caravan just before the winter entombs you. But it's spring now, enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the dingoes get hungry. A new chapter of Dwarven history begins here at this place. Uh, Eka Rokab, Wave Breaker, Strike the Earth. I feel like the game, like, says dingoes super often. Um, we won't do fishing for now. We just want to get some things set up first. Maybe assign like another miner and also a planter slash plant gatherer. And then standing orders. Don't automatically collect webs. Um only farmers harvest. Fish only from designated zones. We we don't have one yet, but we will. Um, so is this just the sea otters on the map? No, there's nothing on the map this time. And I guess we'll, we'll like grab some, uh, we'll grab some food here. Grab some things we can like drink or eat or whatever. So this is fishing. Apparently it rained for like a brief moment when we first got here. Oh look, the wave, first wave just crashed in. Hang on. Got to have a look at the wave. The card is like directly getting smashed by waves right now. I love this so much. This is so cool. I look at look at that. This is one of those things that I really hope they bring back to the um that they eventually translate over to the um like the the pixel art graphics. Cause I like, um like, ocean and box just don't feel the same when they don't have these waves, right? Winter even in tomb in a hot climate. Winter is a reprieve from the scorching in your state. Yeah. Um, winter probably will in tomb here because, like, there's, like, a... See some ice flows here. We're not that far from the, um, the pole. Because, like, the top of the world here is, like, scorching biome, and the bottom is, um, really cold. So, I think the, um, like, there's a solid chance the, uh, the ocean might actually freeze. He feels lovers. He was caught up in a new romance. Who's, who are you, who are you in love with? Etub and Mepsip, the expedition leader, are in love. That's nice. Um, was that something, like, zooming around the map that I just saw? It's an osprey. Hello. Small bird of prey with black markings on its eyes. It hunts near bodies of water. Uh, watch it get stuck on the edge of the map like every fucking bird does in my, in my forts, apparently. Um, I guess let's just, like, kind of start building something here, right? Maybe out of the wood we brought? Um, what do we build here? I'm trying to think, like, what do I actually want to build? 
maybe like we'll start with a carpenter's workshop. Chocolate. And we have like a bajillion sand pearl logs, right? Maybe we should make this into blocks and like just start constructing the board already, maybe. Also, another thing, I kind of wish like all the floors weren't just like grey. Because this is sandstone, right? It should be like sandy colours. The, the grey is just like, it's kind of ugly. And like, if you look at it in um, ASCII, it, it is actually sandy coloured in ASCII. And that, that would be another thing that would be nice to have in um, pixel art graphics, like coloured floors. But, you know, it's probably coming eventually, right? When time stops being relative. Kind of a... Like, what, part of what I'm looking forward to about Adventure Mode being out is, um... Like, the developers will be able to go and work on other things that aren't Adventure Mode, right? Like, like new things. Which would be pretty cool. Adventure mode looks amazing. Yeah, it kind of does, yeah. It's very cool. And, like, it, I feel like it adds so much. Because, like, when you're, like, playing in Fort mode is, like, cool and all. But, like, there's, there's ways you can interact with the world in Adventure mode that, like, you just can't really do in Fort mode. I feel like you're kind of, like, missing out on that, right? Um, so how do we wanna how do we wanna build this exactly? Maybe we have like a big old bridge going out here or something, like maybe coming off this bit. Like we could put some floors down here maybe. The polar floor died early, it did, yeah. The um the the fortress like a um unholy soot zombie got in the fortress and killed everyone. <laughs> a peer, yeah, like a peer, yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so pop things there like that, and then probably build like an actual like bridge, like a like a bridge bridge, right? Out to like here or something. Then we could build the fort like out over the ocean like this. Also, I should probably set up, like, a little farm plot or something. Just like, I don't know. Um, what do we want? Like, an underground farm plot, maybe. I don't know. Uh. Hmm. There is, like, sand here. I'll get them started building this while I think about this. Um, I don't think it needs to go out that far. Maybe like like this. Um, I think for now we'll just pop one like right here. That's probably good. Then we'll grab a still. We can't plant anything here yet because we haven't brewed any drinks. Um, yeah, this, this is fine for now. Ah. There's so many logs in here, it's kind of ridiculous. Maybe we could also like build like a um like if it if this does freeze during the winter was that a lamprey? I think that was a lamprey. If this does freeze during the winter, we can build like storage areas like underground. That could be pretty cool. Um, what else do we need right now? 
Maybe it'd be a good idea to like cut down some trees or something. Just like a few. Oh, hello. There's an elk. A large hooved animal found roaming wild in temperate forests. The males have long antlers. That's cool. There's a and there's a female elf elk's elf. Female elk sprite. Without the antlers. Very cool. I don't think I've ever seen an elk before. Just the elks on the map right now. Still hanging out. I wonder if it might be fun to do, like, um, hunting. I'm gonna make one of my dwarves a, a little hunter. Might be fun. So, then I grab... to have a bow up. Grab a craft store shop to make bolts. And grab a... A raccoon knife. If we find a raccoon, I might just do that. And uh, what else do we need? We need like a butcher shop. That's right. A butcher and a tanner. So they can like return their kills. Butcher and tanner. And I guess a kitchen, right? But for now, we'll just make a crossbow. Make wooden crossbow, please, dwarves. And also, um... Make some wooden bolts. And bolts in this menu? Nope. Not having work orders moment. There we go, wooden bolts. Maybe like, uh, just go for like four of these or something. Back now with food. Hi, Alice. Also called family? Yeah. Well, this is done. Uh, can we now build... I don't think we can do this. I'm thinking, can we build like a bridge? No, it needs to be anchored on edge. So I kind of would like like a like a double bridge thing. Maybe we, maybe we don't need a double bridge. I don't know. Rice potatoes with tofu and vegan cordon bleu. Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, how many how many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Alright. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like so. And build a little anchor for it here, then build the other half of the bridge here. It has with tofu. Oh, I just read that. Why did I why did I start reading it again? Oh, something has collapsed on the surface. Can I not place things there? Huh. Do they have to be like anchored to the shore? Maybe? What the fuck? What do you mean Erdem's dead already? How did you fall in? Oh no. Dwarves. Chat. <laughs> this swimming skill, it, you know, it, it was. Is that like literally all of them? No, that's these two still. I think I'm just gonna reset to be honest. Oh, I didn't save my my fucking like preset. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, well, we're just gonna reset. That was just like dumb construction on my part. Swimming is needed for resort for time. Yeah, we might just make all the dwarves like um competent swimmers or whatever. But 
No, I, I don't even know if, like, proficient swimmer would even, like, help them. Like, wouldn't they just, like, sink like a stone and just die? I don't know. Skip tutorial, yeah. And maybe we embark somewhere else? I don't know. How, how, are, we, how are we feeling about the, um, the wordy field up here? So, I, I don't know. Like, the map was a little weird, maybe? Like, maybe we could go, um... Reset again? Yeah, all of the dwarves drowned. Because <laughs> I constructed something wrong. Um, yeah, Odor's Portals. Maybe, like, one, like one of these, maybe. Maybe we can go make friends with the elves. Oops, <laughs> yeah, whoopsies. It could be fun to go make friends with the elves, maybe, right? How about maybe Eastern Continent? Uh, Eastern Continent is the one with the, uh, the humans on it. Which is called the Continent of Knives, which is pretty funny. Build a bridge to an island from the mainland. That is like, um... That is something I wanted to do, like, like connecting up these two bits of land. But I've had a look at this map before, and like... Eh, it's kind of like... Meh. Friends with knife ears. I unironically prefer elves to humans. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you all something. Let me let me bring up the wiki real quick. So we go up here and we type in ethics, right? Uh, we get the ethics for all the different factions. So if we scroll down to here, is this what I'm doing properly? Yeah. So uh, like this is how like all the different factions feel about different things, right? Like, um, elves think that treason results in exile, right? Dwarves think that torturing is unthinkable. Uh, humans think that slavery is acceptable. And that torture is acceptable. <laughs> Whereas, like, el elves think, like, um... Well, to be fair, they think torture for information is misguided at best, and torture, for example, is, like, acceptable. But... I feel like elves are kind of, like, have a better sense of, like, morals than humans do in Dwarf Art. Plus, humans bring you, like, nothing interesting as trade goods, whereas elves will bring you, like, cool giant animals and, like, heaps of different, like, berries and fruits and stuff for drink variety. The, the funniest thing on this, on this page is, um, the kobolds, right? So in Dwarf Fort, kobolds don't have a concept of language. Like, there, there's no, like, koboldese or whatever. Instead, like, individual factions of kobolds will just, like, kind of make their own sort of pseudo-languages. And so they, they kind of, like, can't communicate with anyone. But they can. Like, you, you can see, like, um, kobold scholars pop up in, like, World Gen and things like that. But typically, kobolds won't be communicating with anyone. So they think... Uh, torture for fun is acceptable, but torture for information is not applicable because they, they don't have that concept. <laughs> and like, lying is not applicable because they don't have a concept of lying. And like, um, <laughs> like, things like that is just kind of funny. Um, but yeah, let's go back to Dwarf Art. I think we're going to go to the Elf Island. And like, we could actually... No, it's not really feasible to connect these two out, right? Unless we do it in, like, multiple forts. Like, this would take, like, multiple, multiple, multiple forts to, like, build a bridge between these. But I think we, uh, we gotta live on Elf Island, maybe. Which is the skewered island in the Jungle of Gates. We could just live just outside the Jungle of Gates at the Swamp of Ambers. Elves think it's acceptable to eat sapient enemies for elven battle. Yes, there is, like, elf lore with this. So, elves believe in, like... Well, I, I might be wrong on this, but this is, like, my understanding of dwarf lore. Um, elves believe in, like, a cycle of, like, um, like death and reincarnation. And they think that, um, like, eating, like, their felled comrades in battle or whatever, like, after a battle, um, like, returns them to that cycle, right? It's why, it's also why they don't like dwarves, like, cutting down trees too much. Because to them, that's like removing the tree from the cycle of reincarnation. Right? 
So it's like, it's like, I guess it's like kind of a religious belief for them. Divinity owls who have cannibalism and lets them see the memories of who they eat. I have no idea. I don't know what, I don't know what divinity is, but like, yeah. <laughs> sure, I guess. It's, I think it's more like, um, like the elves eating, like the, the dead comrades, like allows them to reincarnate as like a plant or an animal or something. Whereas they just, if they just stay dead, then they kind of like, I don't know, like stop existing, I guess, is how elves see it. But yeah, it is kind of wild, yeah. Divinity, oh, like Divinity Original Sin. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I know what you mean now. Um, squid Sharks. This elven forest tree is called Squid Sharks. Cradle Sang. Sparkle Rhyming. Flower Yawn. Fan Swan. Common Cobra. Rock Roar. Hmm. Um, we can maybe go on like this little... Let me fix this real quick. Like go like here or something on this little spot here. Gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Good luck drowning, not drying the dwarves. I, I will try, yeah. Night typos, have a good sleep. I think we are... I kind of like this spot, like sitting on this little like... On the like the top of the continent here. Maybe like on the corner like this, and we could build the the floor out like diagonally, maybe. Yeah, let me just check to make sure I'm the order of portals, which I am. Okay. Yeah, let's like let's try and go on this little corner here, I guess. Confirm. Prepare carefully. I didn't save the thingy, but that's okay. Make everyone proficient swimmers this time. There'll be plenty of wood here, so I won't bother bringing wood. We'll bring some kitties. And we'll bring... extra drinks. Maybe like a lot of extra drinks, actually. Bring some rum, bring some beer. And we'll bring... not the stepladder. Stepladders are evil and bad. And this time I guess I won't do hunting. Um, kitties are the really important part. True, yeah. Apparently, um, cats in this game will actually, like, um, keep away, like, vermin, like, rats or whatever from your stockpiles. And apparently, if you let rats get in the stockpiles, they actually do, like, take small amounts of food. I've never noticed it, so if that is true, it must not be a very large amount of food. But, like, it's kind of interesting, right? Um, what else do we even bring? Maybe like an extra pick or something? Uh, pick. Or maybe we bring some like crossbow bolts. Maybe make like crossbow dwarves for our defense. Bring some like iron bolts, maybe. Why is a single bolt like 10 points? Maybe, maybe not bring bolts. We can just make bolts while we're there. And um, we could bring... We could probably just bring like crossbows, right? Quivers. Copper crossbow, bronze crossbows. These are kind of cool, right? I think like five bronze crossbows, maybe. Two copper battle axes. Maybe we'll bring some like starting weapons. Like iron short swords? Couple of short swords. I have no idea what else we're gonna bring. Uh then we'll name the four what we did last time, wave breakers. Wave breaches is also pretty good. Where's breakers? Wave breakers. Um, the mob is the group name. I don't even remember. 
What were they called? The something... The something something? No, shouldn't it be? Yeah, it should be the something of something, right? The... What did we call them? Does anyone remember? I forgore. Are they like the 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 wave of something? No, it was the um Ah it's on like the the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what it was though. Um No, it's like I'm completely blanking. The, the, it was like the, the mist of waves or something, right? Yeah. The mist of waves. There we go. Then the group symbol was a throne. That's not a creature. A throne. A dwarf. A drink. A... Uh, what else is there? There was a, a palm tree. Coconut palm. There was a... A wave. And a shining sun. And the dwarf is admiring the drink. The dwarf is contemplating. The... Wave is greeting. Where's greeting? The wave is greeting the shining sun. I'm pretty sure this is like the exact thing we have last time, maybe. The... Sparkling. I can't do... Oh yeah, it's an, that'd be an adjective, wouldn't it? No, I can't do sparkling. The shining. No? The rising? No, it was like the sound of, um, we call it like the sound of waves or something, right? The peaceful sound of oceans. I like that more than whatever we had last time. The peaceful sound of oceans is an image of a throne, a dwarf, a drink, a coconut palm, a wave, and a shining sun. The dwarf is admiring the drink. The dwarf is contemplating. The wave is greeting the shining sun. Lovely. Um, and I guess we're good to go now, I think. Yeah, alright. I am ready. Am I going to save when we actually get in game? Um, so that we don't lose our progress again? Uh, you have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh track has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for all the glory of cabin system. There are almost no supplies left. With stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You're expecting a supply caravan just before the winter entombs you, but it's spring now. No, it's not. <laughs> just ignore that. Uh... Enough time to delve secure lodging, lodgings. Ah, uh, the jaguars get hungry. Ooh. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Uh, Uka Rokab. <laughs> Wave breakers strike the earth. Hi, um. Yeah, hi, hi everyone. Starting at Ocean Fort, we are indeed, yes. I'll uh, show them where this fort is on the map. Uh, we are with this, like, island that's, like, full of elves here, and we're just, like, on this tiny little, like, peninsula up here. We are the Dwarven Fortress of Wavebreakers. And I need to save because, like, I don't want to have to do all that set up a third time. So we continue playing, uh, Ocean Embark. Mermaid Farm. A mermaid's even a thing in this game? Hang on. Let's find out. Ma oh, mermaid. Huh. 
I had no idea. That person found a good aligned ocean. So yeah, we won't be seeing any of those. We're not in a magical good biome. Avoid confrontations. Huh. Yeah, I had no idea. Some dwarves like mad people for the tails. Neat. Um, anyways. Those who hunt elves. Uh, I think, I think we're gonna try and make, like, friends with the elves. But we'll, we'll see how things play out, right? Um, so, labor. We'll take someone off fishing for now. You just remember the manga? I am not really sure what you're talking about. I'm not much of a, a manga person myself. Um, and then we'll go standing orders we need to. Don't automatically collect webs. And only thumbs harness. Fish only in designated zones. Was there any other settings I need to change? What's my population cap at? 50? That's fine. Okay. Um. Wait, why do I have the default animals with me? Why is there a water buffalo? Wait, no, this is. Oh, right, because it pulled the car. Right, obviously. Nothing on the map. What do we got? We got tons and tons and tons of trees. I really like the um the leaf sprite on uh on these trees. I think this is quite nice. Also different from like most of the other trees. You see more of them like here. It's pretty cool. How deep does this ocean go? Oh yeah, there's like a little like spit of land here. Not land, it's still underwater, but there's like a little like gap in between these two bits of ocean here. Oh well, look at all that magnetite, that's a lot of metal there. Got some gemstones down here. Some bituminous coal as well. Ooh. Very cool. Yeah, there, there's some there's some stuff here. Um, so first order of business, I guess, is we just like try and build that fort again. Um, where are we? I think first thing to do is we need to chop down some trees. Sorry, elves, we're gonna do this and get this out of the way now so that they don't get mad at me later. No, no one tell them. No one tell them we're cutting down the trees. They'll never know. Can you use ocean water for wells? Um, yes, but only if you first put the ocean water through a pump. If you pump the ocean water somewhere, like the pump uh, desalinates it, turns it into fresh water. So yes, you can, but I think we're going to use an aquifer for water. Because this map does have an aquifer. Also, for those who haven't seen, if we go into ASCII, check this out, you can actually see the ocean waves forming in ASCII. Whereas this is you you can't see this at all in the um the the steam tile set. Something I really wanted to bring back because this is so cool. Like look at that really adds to like the atmosphere of Ocean and Box. It just honestly like doesn't feel the same without it. Like it's just it's just nothing. Just flat empty ocean. <laughs> Looks more like a lake without the waves, right? It's much prettier in ASCII. Yeah, I, I kind of agree, especially with the with the waves. Um it's got plenty of trees now. Ooh, winter melons. That's kinda cool. Can we no, can't almost that. But cotton. Ooh, we can make like cotton clothes. I don't think I've ever made clothes out of cotton in this game before. Jute plant, strawberry, rice is also a cool one we can make. I don't know if I've ever used rice either. Waves have the same modifiers as normal mist. They don't, unfortunately. Like these dwarves are like, you know, standing in the mist right now. Nothing. No, she does feel fondness talking with a friend, tenderness talking with a lover, and love caught up in a new romance. Who's Stoda's partner now? Katan, the peasant. 
Congratulations, you two. Remembering talking, fondness remembering talking with a friend. That's like all they've done so far. Because I've just had them stand here. Uh, I'm wondering if like maybe we should start the floor like underground and then like kind of expand it out like here. Might not be a bad idea. So I think to do that we'll kind of like remove like all of this stuff, this like sticky out a bit, and we'll kind of uh we'll go from there, I think. So we'll dig out like a little square space ish like this. Something like that. That also removes the um the ground from up here, so I don't have to remove them separately. How does the horse feel? The horse feels absolutely nothing. No thoughts, head empty. It has an osprey again. Overcome by terror, apparently. Look at it go. Nyom. Um. Water pressure is probably the worst danger when handling the ocean. Yeah, it can be a problem, water pressure. That's not, um, it's not the worst thing if you know what you're doing, which I do not a lot of the time, admittedly, but yeah. Other sea monsters? Not only is there sea monsters, there is like sea monster. I think it's just called sea monster? Yeah, it's just the sea monster. You find them in evil oceans. I've never seen one of these and I've never seen anyone post about one of these. So they must be like giga rare or something, but really, really cool. Like, look at that sprite work. Super cool sprite, and um, yeah, kind of a cool. Um, can you breed these? Cannot be tamed. Yeah, can't actually breed them. Still, it's very cool though. But there's like all kinds of um, like uh, like ocean creatures you can find. Sea the sea monsters just like. You know, the sea monster. Sand can fall down into an underground space. And, uh... I'm not really sure what you mean by that. You can get sand underground, yeah. And sand does behave like stone. Yeah, when you dig it out, it's it gets like dug out the same way. Um... So we have, like, kind of a little space here. Maybe we should just kind of... No, I don't really want to dump my stuff here. Maybe we just kind of like build a little like shack here or something. I don't know. Um... So this probably counts as the surface, so we'll chuck a farm plot here. Doesn't generate blocks for the most part unless it's sandstone. Yeah. This is true. But it's a sand claps into another fortress on another stream. You can make sand collapse because because it behaves like any stone, right? Like you could um like isolate a bit of land and then cause it to uh like collapse down. Like that just works the same with like anything though, like not just um not just the uh, sand. Anything can collapse, yeah. Um and then we'll make like a, a cotton farm plot here. So we can make some clothes. And I'll also grab a like temporary carpenter workshop. So we can make some wooden blocks. Me thinks. I'll also grab a still and a farmer's workshop. So we can also get cotton and um another thing. You've seen water drip like in an in an aquifer? Yeah. It do do that. So you need to make wooden blocks. Where's blocks? Be up the top, why not? Uh blocks. We'll make them out of 
I guess we have like a hundred rubber wood. Maybe mango wood. Mango wood's got a nice color, right? Yeah, it's just like dark brown. I like that. Accidentally open up a lake or an ocean if you mine up under a body of water. Um, yeah, you could, you could do that. Yeah. Just something you gotta be careful about, I guess. But I think the dwarves will tell you that the stone is wet if you try and do that. So they will like warn you. So it's probably hard to do accidentally, but still possible, right? Uh, process plants. Suggest you don't. Yeah, it's a... Uh, unless you want to move a whole bunch of water, like, for some reason, then yeah, probably not a great idea. There we go, we can plant cotton here now, look at that. Withered rice plant, oh no. We drink from plants. We'll also make like a, a couple of barrels here, I think. Plenty of wooden blocks and start uh, constructing here. Boop. Mango trees look okay in Minecraft. I didn't even know Minecraft had mango trees, to be perfectly honest. Mangrove? I didn't know it had mangrove trees either. I thought Minecraft just had trees. <laughs> Was I wrong? Like, there's like brown trees and white trees, I think, in Minecraft. But it's been like so long since I played that game. Minecraft, uh, that's just Minecraft after a certain update. Like, just in general, in my opinion. It's a bit shite, isn't it? Uh, why did they cancel item lost or destroyed? What do you mean the item is lost or destroyed? It's no good. Uh, let me find some more rice so we can brew that. Go grab some rice, dwarves. Yeah, why did they, uh, why did they stop making these? Hang on. Uh, repeat wooden blocks. Mango wood. This like the the profession rework they did in the new dwarves artist. I kind of um I kind of disagree, to be honest. I, I, I really like the way professions work now, as opposed to, uh, the, in 47, oh, hello, rattlesnake. Reptile with a tail, a telltale rattle and a vicious bite that leads to a quick death. Um, I'm just going to ignore it and hope it goes away. But, um, I, I like the, uh, granted, I started, like, really getting into Dwarf Fortress with version 50. So maybe I'm biased because it was the first version I played. Um, but I feel like the um, the current job profession system, like, it's way more, like, hands-off. Like, there's way more, like, micromanaging you have to do, which is really nice. Because I like Dwarf Fort when you kind of just, like, let the dwarves do their own thing a little bit, right? I, 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 I think that's super chill when, when you play, when the game is played like that. So I'm going to do that really quick. But I, I can understand why, why some people might not like that style. Minecraft has oak, dark oak, birch, acacia, azella? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Cherry, mangrove, and jungle. Okay. Hi, did I do this wrong? No, this is right, yeah. And how many of those are stolen from mods, yeah? Like micromanaging? Yeah, like some some people like that sort of thing. It's not like super my thing, I guess. Like I'm not super fond of like the micromanaging aspects, but you know, some people like it. It's not for me, I guess. 
Wait, are there like a ramps like here? No, there aren't. Okay. Uh, so we go here. I'll go like up like this. Remember I'll set up the basic run automatically? Not, not really, because like, you like have direct control of your little guys in Rimworld, right? Whereas you kind of don't in Dwarf Fort, and I kind of like that about Dwarf Fort. Like you can't like directly tell a dwarf to go do something. You can you can just tell them what needs doing, and then they decide if they want to go do it or not, right? I kind of I kind of like that. I think it makes the game like more interesting. Makes the dwarves feel like they have a little bit of personality to them, right? Uh, yeah, we can have like cool like double doors here. Could be nice. Everyone's just getting like swamped by waves constantly. Uh, do we make uh, rice plants? Can we make some rice beer please? Where did the dwarves put that rice? Yeah, there we go, rice plant. We'll be able to plant rice now. It's always been the case, though. It's like making living districts by professionals, and it was all nice, clean, and nice. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I, I, I can see why people would enjoy that. Hi, Neebs. How you doing? Do certain stockpile items get waterlogged and ruined? I... I don't think so. Maybe... Like, being underwater might make items, uh, like, like, rot faster, but I don't think there's, like, a waterlog status, right? I could be wrong on that, though. Um, wooden door. Lucky, lucky. Alright. Um, <coughs> that's like cost there. Um, stop giving me excuses to play Rimmold. Or... Or, Trey, hear me out here, right? You play Dwarf Fort instead. Yeah. <laughs> you play you play a good game instead. It'll be wet, but that doesn't do anything really. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't think it did, but yeah. <laughs> you would rob us shit in your hands and crash and play to record us. Well why? It's so cool. Look, look at the funny little guys. They're, they're hanging out. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, I should make like a stockpile for these things, shouldn't I? Alright, so we'll we'll dig down a level here. This is where we can put our like stockpiles, I think. Um, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You run, what is the theme? Uh, we are making like an, like an ocean fort. And if we look on the map here, we're on this little, little island that's entirely populated by like tons and tons and tons and tons of elves. So we're like a, partially like a, like a, like a beach resort for my dwarves to get some, uh, rest and relaxation. But then also partially to like, uh, for like diplomacy, to like meet these elves, I guess. You're gonna conquer all the elves? I think we're gonna, like, try and be friends with the elves, but, like, I'll just go along with whatever happens, right? Like, if my, if my dwarves, uh, if my dwarves, uh, end up starting a war, like, or if I cut down too many trees and accidentally start a war, then I think we'll just, like, go with it, right? Just go with the flow a bit. It's my cotton. There it is. I've got to plant these in the other seasons as well. There goes my little miner. I finished up some work. I'm very satisfied. Do something like that. That was bad. I I disagree. We kind of had like a. I was actually talking about this earlier on the stream, but um, like if you go to the ethics page on um on the wiki, like uh, the elves are a lot nicer than the humans are, and the elves bring you a. Uh, you like cool stuff 
in trade like a uh, like giant animals and a bunch of cool like berries and stuff for drink variety whereas humans just bring you like like humans are basically just like worse less ethical dwarves basically i find i i feel like a lot of people like um dislike elves a lot for me it's like the humans <laughs> the humans are big stinky You love elves for their exotic animals? Yeah, you can get some really cool ones sometimes. No, <laughs> places just don't like them. Yeah, you, humans are a bit shy, you know. Elves don't mind to eat humanoid meat. Um, they Elves will um cannibalize their fallen comrades in battle. The game is paused, I was wondering why nothing was happening. Uh, elves cannibalize their fallen comrades in battle because they believe in like, I could have this law wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the reason they do that is um, they believe in like a cycle of reincarnation. And so they believe that like, if you um, eat your fallen comrades, uh, they like, they get reborn as like a tree or an animal or something, right? And I'm pretty sure that's also the reason why they don't like dwarves like cutting down trees. Because they see it as like the, that tree getting like removed from the cycle of reincarnation. At least that's like my interpretation of how elves work. I could be very wrong. Um, then we'll kind of build like, like a room like out here I think. This can be like my food room, I guess. They think trees are sentient. I think um I think that's part of it, right? Like they like they can like talk to the trees. Inspired by Stranger in a Strange Land, by the way. Is that the actual like inspiration for this bit of lore? I have to uh, look that up at some point. Not heard of that. I should probably put a roof on this now I'm thinking about it. Give my dwarves some place to sleep. Oh, I can't do that yet. Oh, come on, there we go. Concept of grokking. Grokking? When you grasp something's meaning? I'm not, I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> um, pop these doors in that we made a while ago. Is there any like cool animals on the map? Cassowary! Cassowaries are so cool. A small, flightless, brightly colored bird. Hello. And the cats are all like having a look at it. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> Alright, so here's my little space for, for food. We probably need to expand this later, but for now this is fine, I think. Uh, so all food, but not seeds. There we go, and then we'll make a little seed stockpile, maybe coming out like, like here, somewhere. I think I did it somewhere. Hang on. There we go. Oh, wait, 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 no. There we go. I a science fiction writer. Empathize so deeply with others so you merge or blend with them. Right, gotcha. Yeah. So then this can be the seed stockpile. Right, the seeds. There we go. All seeds, but don't use barrels. Please, for the love of God, dwarves. I mean, actual English word as a result. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Art imitates life, or however the saying goes. Old oh, life imitates art in this case. Oh, 
not quite enough blocks to fit there. Um, we'll probably make like another carbon spark shop here and like start making some um, some what are they called? Uh, some beds for the dwarves. Goblin mode is a word. So true. I'm going goblin mode. Chat. Can you believe that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll just go up to ten, I guess. That'll do. Do we need to roll back English a hundred years? But why? It's funny. Oh, it is now winter. I don't think the um the ocean's gonna freeze up here, but if it will freeze, we'll find out now. <laughs> it would just be German, yeah, that's kinda true. English is just like six languages in a trench coat, pretending to be one big language. You update English to use phonetic writing? Honestly, so true. Spelling is such a pain. <laughs> the color is color. Yeah, something like that. It would make things easier. Do we can gatekeep non-native speakers? What do you mean? But Trey, my spelling is bad too. <laughs> I love remembering a new romance. Aban and English are now lovers. Can't give what the fuck. How rude. Um, we're kind of running a little low on food. I wonder if. I wonder if we should sign a fisher dwarf now. Make a little fishing zone. This will just be temporary here. And then we'll assign one of my dwarves as a fisher dwarf. There you go, Errol. Uh, so we need a fishery. Just like temporarily here. And a... Is it just the fishery? I thought there was like a, a fish cleaners workshop. No, that is the fishery, isn't it? Too complex? It is. It do be too complex though. English uses a universal language, it could be... If English is used as a universal language, it could be... Improved? Yeah. I have no idea what you're saying, Trey. You better not be typing some bullshit. You don't have a Russian keyboard on your laptop? I have a Japanese keyboard on my laptop. Not on my laptop, I don't have a laptop, what am I saying? On my desktop. No way near the quality layout. Yeah, a lot of languages are like that, yeah. Completely different keyboard layouts, which, you know, makes sense. You don't know that either? Yeah. There we go, getting the roof in place. So we can put these these beds down now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Just to make people hearing somebody's name. Do not need to ask to spell it. Yeah, also like the other way around. Like, this is relevant to like a, like, this is just like a Twitch thing, right? Like I'll read people's usernames and it'll take me like several seconds to work out how to pronounce it. And then I'll probably end up pronouncing it wrong anyways, right? Okay, it doesn't work with your color example. Why not? You pronounce color, color? Yeah, so do I. 
Huh? Gah? I'm gonna sleep. Oh yeah, I should set this as a dormitory, shouldn't I? Just a temporary dormitory until we get bedrooms. Just a little, little temporary thing. Oh, that was used closer material. I always do that. Trey, I, I say again, you better not be typing some shit. That's how he was. Alright. Boop. <laughs> If, if you're gonna be a dickhead, I will press the I will press the button, right? Streaming is already like difficult enough without that stuff. It's a sweat, yeah. Like, there's already like bajillion things I have to pay attention to. How is the horse starving? There is, there is grass, like, two centimeters, from them. I'm just gonna butcher the horse and the buffalo. I think. To keep it simple. Probably need some leather anyways. How many how many fish do we have now? Seven apparently. Pair of raw fish. I think um so that my one fisher dwarf isn't just like fishing constantly, I'll also set them as the fishery worker, I think. Yeah, fish cleaning and fish dissection. Um uh, Wait, isn't this, um, I'm pretty sure this doesn't work, right? Because if you set a fishery worker and a fisher dwarf as the same thing, they will always prioritize fishing, so then you just get, like, a bunch of, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you just get a bunch of fish, like, piled up in the fishery. This is kind of funny. Um, alright, we can put those beds in now. Yeah, names. I, I gotcha. Trey, can you just like chill for a bit, please? No, I didn't do that wrong. Yeah, it's just built differently on either side. Um... We only have ten foods still. What 
Where's my fishing rod for me? Fish here. I see. There you go. Dabbling fish dwarf. What should you fish up, fish dwarf? What did you just grab? I didn't see that. He like moves. Yeah, I I get what you mean, memes. This is correct. I keep doing that. I keep accidentally placing that like that. Hang on. Um. kind of have like a little hut now. It's it's kind of square and boring so we'll probably like change it up a bit in a, in a little bit or something. Yeah. Hi there, Fuzzball. Oh, uh, Nickel Dickle, thanks for the lawyer. Is that? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's how that's pronounced, but thank you. Um, oh, look at this. Cody, I think? A small, long nosed, raccoon like creature. Neat. What, what does a Cody look like? Oh, look at this. He's a funny little guy. <laughs> um, one moment, sorry. Anything up sleeping without a proper room, yeah. Everyone else just has no job. I should give them a meeting area, shouldn't I? I think I'll just go like hang out here, I guess. Everyone just kinda like funnels in. Uh, did I set my no I didn't set the super show. Do that. Um, there we go. Stray horse has been budgeted. What was the um, fish that was on the map? Milk fish. 
medium-sized fish found around coasts and islands is easy prey for predators, apparently. Still have plenty of blocks. Maybe we start expanding out here now. Maybe. Might not be a bad idea. So I want to go like... Like this, I think. And then like, like this. Kind of like build a bridge like on this bit, I think. Try and do it better than last time so it doesn't just like collapse immediately. One, one moment, sorry. Okay. Um, so we have that. Oh, we need more mango wood blocks. All right. Where does one? Just all of no. Some of these are date palm logs. So we'll try and grab like specifically the mango tree logs. Yeah. get cut down yes very good go over here and make blocks there we go and keep it that I guess and then um so how do we do this I can make a bridge right like the bridge can just go out here but then like what do I do once that um once I have to build the second half of the bridge because I don't know how to make like the the thing not collapse right You know what I mean? Moving all those blocks across. There must be like a lot of them, I guess. More than like 26 or something that this use. I think I saw the number 26 somewhere. Lots of not all shells. Where is all of my fish being stolen? Like meat barrel. Fish barrel. Oh wow, look at all of these. Nautilus, Clownfish, Cuttlefish, Squidge, Thornback Ray. Lots of different like animals here. That's pretty cool. I'll make a um, a temporary kitchen here, I think. Like like that. 
you know the walkway next to the bridge all the way out and out before we just not deconstruct it that's probably the best way to go about it i think we, we could try that um I have to make sure the dwarves aren't going to like build it from here because I think that makes it collapse. So I think I'm going to go like this and then like go one across, I think. That's probably the best way to do it. But it would have to go out to like where, the, where I want the base of the fort to be, right? Embarrassed sleeping in a proper room. Aww. Um, we're doing fat. Let's cook some meals, I guess. Uh, it's just like a handful of lavish meals, I think. Lovely. And lots of Nautilus shells now as well. You could probably use those for like something, but um, shell crafts aren't really very valuable, so maybe not that much. I won't be able to use it for that much, I guess. Saving. Alright. Spring has arrived on the calendar. Well, I guess that confirms it, right? The ocean is never going to freeze, right? So how long is this bridge? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we'll just go 11 out here, I guess, right? There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, there we go. I think that's right, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, move that one, still preparing fish, so many fish to work with, I should probably like go in here, and prevent them from cooking my tallow because we have like so many fish, right? Might as well use those instead of the things that we can actually use to make like soap and stuff, right? Oh, and um, processing plants might not be a bad idea either. Oops. Needs unrotten processable plants to be like run out of cotton? What happened? That's not a huge problem, right? We just go find some more, I think. Cotton plants, there we go. I'm gonna grab some of those dwarves. The cassowary is back. Hello. <laughs> Just hanging out. Gonna head off. Alright, night rail. Wait, John I didn't lost it a straight. Okay, no one's in the river. Good. But it didn't like break again. Bye, rail.
One moment, sorry. Okay. Um, the game is paused that all day. Whoops. Sorry. So let me go like. Actually, wait. How do we? How do we do this? I guess we go like this, and then we put like. Like mango wood floor like here, I guess? Maybe? Like so? I think so. Look at that dwarf go on that precarious little bridge there. I wonder if the waves are like actually like breaking on the wall here. No, it kind of just looks like they're going over it, doesn't it? ignore walls. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I guess I could kind of imagine it like the, um, because this is only just like a floor, right? So it's probably like the, the wave is sort of like washing up over the wall. Oh, hi, Cassowary. Yeah, I guess we can build that little, um, that little bridge now. The floor is, the floor is cool, yeah. Walls as well, you flooded your forge uterus. Oh no. <laughs> By walling up the, the down entrance without a hatch? Oh no. <laughs> I think I, I feel like I like the way, um, walls look more than floors, because, um, like, you get, they look exactly the same from the top, but then, like, from the bottom, like, there's, like, they have, like, depth to them, I feel like, because if you, if we look at this bit here, there's, like, nothing underneath, and I feel like it would, it would be cool if there, were, if there was something underneath, but it's not really, like, something that's, like, feasible to build there, though. Oh, yeah, they're building it from this side. Interesting, I thought they'd build it from, like, where the, um, the thing is, but I guess not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, I swear I measured this like 17 times. Why has that not worked? Is it actually meant to be like here? Or what? Alright. <laughs> We'll just do it like this, I guess. Try to build lots of pumps and try to put a wall. Yeah, I, I guess you could do that, yeah. Something like that. Pumps are, I feel like pumps are kind of a lot of work, though, a lot of the time. There's like a lot of things that have to go into them. Are there any blocks at the bottom of the ocean now? Not really. Okay. Lovely. Okay. 
Now we can put that bridge in place. Oh! English and Alban have gotten married. Would you look at that? Where are they? That's the low law. There's Alban. Love while getting married. Aww. <laughs> These two cats are just following, um, just following this one dwarf around. Oh, gotta grab those blocks now, I guess. Are you gonna take them? Yeah, you take them all the way back, which is kind of interesting. I really would have thought they would have just built it from here, but I guess not. I guess they can't be, like, standing on the thing they build, right? Maybe. It's <laughs> gone back and forth. I guess we can kind of like start building a bit of a platform here, right? How do I want to do this exactly? I think what I want to do is build like a big like almost like circular like building and have like a hole in the middle that's like a fishing hole, I think. Um, yeah, that sounds kind of cool. Do you have to go move that log dwarf? Yes, you do. And then you have to run all the way back. And... Any minute now. Instruction nearly done. There we go. So now I think we can start like... Do I just like collapse this now? It's probably too much. It's probably like more effort to collapse it than it's just like remove the, the things here. Oh, wait, my whole thing collapsed? This, there isn't a dwarf down here, is there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So, dwarf didn't drown, but like... How is there, like, no... You, like, have to connect it up via land? That's weird. Oh, he's fighting. Caught in a patch of black sand. But he's fine, though, right? Right? He's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Maybe I just build like, um, just like things along the side, I guess, and we can like block them up later so that like enemies can't cross. I guess. That's the only thing I can think to do. This bridge is like basically floating now though, like it's literally sitting on open space, which is kind of hilarious. Whoa, hold up. Oh, they have to build them, like, one by one coming off this way. Oh, no. No! Oh, glass eye. Katan! Katan, get to the surface! You, you got knocked unconscious by the collapse. Hang on, wait, I need to cancel all of these before anything else happens. Stop this, dwarves. How is that unsupported fridge still standing? I have no idea. Katan, I made you- Yes! Making them efficient swimmers is paid off. Katan survives. And now he's getting a snack. Ay ay ay. Okay. It's 
so I can deal with this side of it fine, I guess. One lucky dwarf? Yeah, right? Yeah, they can build this bit because it's connected to this, like, lighter wood. But I guess I just have to do this bit, like, one by one, right? What will happen if you raise the bridge? Uh, <laughs> that is a good question. We might have to do some, uh, little bit of science to figure that one out. I have absolutely no idea. It might work perfectly. It might collapse instantly, destroying my entire fortress. You know, we will find out eventually, I guess. I'm just still fishing. I like how all those logs like kind of neatly ended up just like sitting on the side here. There's just some blocks that ended up at the bottom of the ocean as well. Alright, we're slowly getting there. I forgot. Is anyone in the water? Okay. No one's in the water. We're fine. You just need to take it slow until we get this bit set up. Okay. Because there's nothing connecting over here. These poor dwarves, they're just trying to build a bridge. put a couple of blocks here I think yeah because if they build this one it's connected here so that's fine Is it safe to work on that? I don't think it is. I should play it safe just to be sure. There we go. So, I think we can, like, now start building the thing, and I th think it won't collapse anymore. Because, like, I'm, like, all of this is connected to the land over here, right? So I don't think it will collapse. I think. Maybe. So I think, uh, how do I do this? Make like the main sort of entrance area. We can go like one, two, three, four, five, six. Out like that maybe. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. And then go like, so how many across is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I think that was eighteen. Maybe I'll go like, like this. It kind of looks like a little bit too wide. Um, yeah, I don't know. make like a like a circular room again I think it's easier if I like do it with the dig tool and then like kind of cut out the corners to make a circle but we should be able to do it like this right maybe is there a way I can use like the blueprint tool for this no because it won't let me place any like blueprints here I don't know Yes, because I don't have enough like, like blocks to be able to like build this fully, right? Unless I go like um, ah. <sighs> Unless I go like this, maybe. How many? How many crosses? Let, let me just count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So I think the way I'm gonna do this is go like that and then just kind of like cut out the corners. And then also add like a little, a little thing. I guess. I guess we can't do that right now, but once we get to that... Um... Do I need to actually, like, remove these, though? This is the thing. Maybe we can just, like, build around, like, the outside and then fill it in later. That's probably the best way to go about it, I think. Maybe. So put, like, a cut here on both sides and then we'll just kind of like we'll build this part specifically using mango and we'll come back and do the other part I guess is probably maybe the best way to do this Okay, um... Yeah, they built that. And then go here. I think this works, right? Maybe. Maybe we just stick with like this shape. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe we do like a different colored block on the inside or something. Because there probably are enough mango blocks to like finish this by now. I think. Let's have a look. Wait, how is there only 50? There's like a bajillion of them in here. Is there not? Oh, they all want to be, get picked up there. That's, that'll be why. Uh, we could put like a little stockpile for those down here though, right? It's 
something like that. That'll do. And then we'll also put a break like here so that I don't know what level this is on. This should work, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, then remove those so that will also like build on a diagonal or whatever. Yeah, alright. This kind of works, I think. Kind of a bit of a roundabout way of <laughs> like planning this out, but seems like it'll work in the end. Saving. Wait for them to do that. Uh, this is getting dug out. I guess I've got to think about where I want to put their beds as well. Maybe they could have beds like on the roof or something. That could be kind of cool. And give them like windows maybe, like looking out over the ocean. Oh, actually. Actually, that kind of sounds like a really fun idea now that I think about it. Um, and there's like sand everywhere, so we could... It'd be fairly easy to make glass furnaces, right? Or relatively easy, at least. Any cool animals on the map? I feel like I haven't seen anything in a while. It's just a rattlesnake. It's just hanging out. Apparently it was in conflict at some point. Um, no. Wait, is that right? No, this needs to go like that, I think. Right? No. It needs to go like, like this. Let me just get rid of these. I think this is right now. Or does it need, like, another layer up? Nope, this is right. Okay. Cool, cool. I kind of, like, add a little bit of thickness on either side here as well. Also, I can't help but notice the dwarves, like, aren't walking across this bridge. I wonder if it's, like... But they, they kind of walk across it. They, they seem to mostly want to walk around it, though. Well, we can probably fix that by, like, building, like, something like this, right? Good morning, good, uh, good evening. How are you doing? Yeah, put, like, some walls there, then, all, then they should go across the actual bridge. Still super weird that this, like, isn't attached or anything. And this is dug out, so we can put our stockpile here. And what do I not want in here? Don't want that. Don't want... Uh, do I want... 
bars. No metal bars, but we'll, we'll put blocks in there, I guess. Yeah. Uh, no cloth, because that can go elsewhere. Finished goods is fine. No food. Um, gems can go elsewhere. Leather can go elsewhere. Stone can go elsewhere. And can wood go elsewhere? Yeah, wood can go elsewhere as well. This is mostly just like finished goods and stuff. Uh, wood can go here, I think. Right? Yeah. How do I, how do I do this? One, two, one, two, one, two, like that, I think. Yeah. There we go. Just kind of like matching these up on either side. Yeah, so they are willing to like walk across the bridge. They just prefer walking across the actual like like the wooden like rickety wooden bridge for some reason. I don't I don't really know why. But yeah, whatever. Also, we'll remove the fishing zone for now, because we're gonna move it over here somewhere. You're still fishing. How many fish have we got? That's a lot of fish, to be honest. It's kind of weird that like fishing takes priority over basically like every other job. Like this dwarf is just gonna fish instead of like constructing or whatever else. And constructing is already like super super high priority, right? There we go. Oh, first batch of migrants, I guess. We've got Athel, a legendary miner who I guess is from uh, Berry Brew. Yeah. Old Berry Brew dwarf. We have Uvash, the legendary weaver. Also, um, also probably from Berry Brew. Saltwater life, though. Yeah, it's, um,. It is all salt water, but uh, we can still get like drinking water using like pumps or just use like um, alcohol, right? Dwarven Child, also from Berry Brew. Yeah, it kind of looks like we're gonna get a lot of Berry Brew dwarves here. Alright, 11 new dwarves, welcome to the fortress. Unfortunately, there's still only, um, <laughs> only a dormitory. Maybe we could build like the bedroom spaces like up here or something. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe like up on a little hill here. Mm, that'd be kind of difficult to like organize though. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do it like that. We'll put like a hole in the floor here so that we can connect the staircases together. And then we'll go like we'll build the little like border around it like this. And this also kind of makes the shape of this building like a little more interesting. Just just a little. That's basically like the center here, I think. Um, kind of try and like envision where the rooms will be here. So we'd have like a room like 
here, here, here and here, and then also like here and here, I guess? That kind of doesn't work though. Maybe this will just be like the first set of bedrooms or something. And like maybe, maybe like an open air manager office in this little section here. I kind of like that idea, to be honest. So we'll make like a table and stuff. Table. A chair. Maybe, maybe two. <sighs> ah, no, one is probably fine, I think. Um, and then we can go here. Build up like so. No? I need more blocks first. Speed up the block production. Mango blocks. There we go. So prioritizing the closer constructions here. Also, I guess I can just like cancel these constructions because they're literally already in place. We just need an upstair here. I'm basically converting that one from an upstair into a downstair. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Lovely. doesn't yet have a roof, but we can fix that. Kind of like build a slope up here. Not fish. Still just fishing, I guess. Um. Yeah, nothing really weird in the labor tab there that we need to fix. Seems all good. Ah. List of us. How you doing? Um, it's just me, or is this slope using like? Is there like a slightly different sprite here? Like this, just kind of looks like a clear block. They're both upward slopes, but I swear these two look different to these two for some reason. Pretty good, that's good. Coastal fort, yeah. Um, this fort is a little coastal fort here, and we're on this island that's entirely populated by elves. There's, there's just like tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of elves here. How do they feel about us, I wonder? We haven't made contact yet. A shadow from slope? Uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe it's because there's like a, a downward slope here. But there isn't a downward slope here, so these ones look different. What does it look like in ASCII, actually? Does the ASCII give us any information? Nope, they look identical in ASCII. Also, once again for those who haven't seen, look at the wave! There's an ocean wave in ASCII. It's so cool. But it's not in the normal graphics. I say normal graphics, okay? Technically, you could probably say that the ASCII is the normal graphics, because that that's like what the games always have. But like, yeah. 
what a what a movement looks so much better in classic mode. It really does, yeah. I really hope they bring over um like ocean waves to the new graphic style at some point. It's probably on like their their like endless to do list, right? Did not realize you put ASCII on. Yeah, it's uh it's just in the settings like up here. Just use classic ASCII graphics. It's pretty neat. Because there's like a few things that um that uh the, the ASCII graphics do that the normal graphics don't. A big one for me, I think, is like uh this map isn't really a good way to show it off, but like stone color, right? Like um in the in the new graphics, every single stone when viewed from the top is just grey. Like this is conglomerate, which is meant to be like a like a dark brown, but it just looks grey from the top. But if we go into ASCII, you can see there's the there's like the, the dark brown of the conglomerate. Which I I think that's pretty cool. That's another thing I hope they, they bring over, like coloured floors. Because the grey is just like so boring. <laughs> Did I accidentally like click on something there? That was a little weird. Anyways. Um Papa, do we have enough for floor there? We do. Oh, hang on. The Cody is fighting. Why are you fighting the Cody? What? What happened, dwarves? It just like got in the fort and you killed it? What if it wanted to be friends? Lightly tapping the target. The Fisher Dwarf charges of the Cody. Wow, alright, well. That's one one dead creature, isn't it? Should pop a dump over there. Someone uh, get rid of that for me, please. Maybe. There we go. Thank you, dwarves. Actually I should probably like move it further away. So that my dwarves don't like look at it all the time. I put a little temporary dump down here, I guess. There you go, get rid of that. You know what I really like with ASCII is you can still see the blocks when you fill in a room with walls. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah. I think underground fort's really messy. Also the engravings look ugly. Yeah, that is that is also pretty true. There's like upsides some downsides to both, I guess. Oh yeah, I need to set them to gather outdoor refuse. Um, no, it's not a kitchen. It's a standing order. I can gather outdoor refuse. There you go. There we go. I should go grab it now. That roof is completely on now, right? Not quite. Because a bunch of constructions got suspended because a random wild animal decided to wander into the fort. Did my... nope, these making... making the mango wood block jobs are still there. We can put that table in that chair in now. Wait, needs table? I thought we made a table and a chair. Did I make something instead of a table? No, there's the chair. We just don't have a table, I guess. Alright. Well, make me a wooden table, please. There it is. We'll finally be able to get a manager's office. So then this is a little open air office for our manager. Uh, Kumail has just showed up as an adequate organizer. You can be our manager, I guess. 
and the broker, and the bookkeeper, assign that to Kumel, there we go, yeah none of, the, none of the other blocks really look like these ones do, I wonder, I wonder why it's like that, it's interesting. Updating the stockpile records. So now we can finally do work order stuff. Need four doors, four beds. I might make like eight cabinets, I guess. And four coffers. We'll have to make more room somewhere else, I guess. Oh yeah, they're called chests, aren't they? chest so oh that's the number of shops hang on four chests uh eight cabinets four beds four doors lovely then we can probably start building this Maybe, depending on how many blocks we have. What was I going to put here? That, this was wood, that's right. Boop. Ah, oh, you still have mem like, negative memories from Berry Brew as well. That's kind of unfortunate. Um. Hmm. There we go, the dwarves are getting on these. Lovely. Um, is there anything left in here? There's like cloth stuff. I guess we kind of need a spot for the cloth stuff, don't we? Uh, did we end up getting rice seeds? What happened to those? I can brew drink. Is that gonna make rice? Rice beer, or whatever it's called? Which, speaking of, I should probably like ban the cooking of these because we're gonna have so much fish that it won't really be relevant. Lots of bones as well. Might not be a bad idea to make some like crafts and stuff, I guess. Yeah, let's make some crafts. This can go in like a little stockpile like here or something. Um go like like this, I guess. Maybe a little larger. So I'll make a craft swaps workshop. I'm thinking about like maybe having all of our crafting stuff being like on the roof up here or something. Maybe. Eventually, once we get to that. Could be pretty cool. How? Do I have any plans to process? I wonder. Okay, we do now. We can get some cotton now as well. And make me some shell crafts, please. Oops. Didn't mean to prioritize that. And then here, we can go finish goods. Made from shell. Of whatever quality. It can just be whatever. And don't use bins, please. Okay.
got some beds and got some chests emphasis on some There we go. And I guess we can like assign these as bedrooms if not, right? Boop. Save it. Back around to autumn. It's already been a year in this fort. Who would have who would have guessed, I guess. Probably have some more blocks by now. Um, that's <laughs> every time. I always do use closest material. More furniture getting made. Uh, how many do we want on meals? Because we have plenty of fish we can make. Ah, there's plenty of meals. Plenty of meals. A lot of cotton thread here. I we'll have to make clothing stuff soon as well, I guess. Oh, well, we don't really have to make clothing stuff soon. It'd just probably be nice, I think. So I think we need like some more mango trees cut down, and it'd be good to do those um like soonish, like uh before the elves notice that we've been cutting down so many trees, because we currently don't even have contact with the elves, right? These are all date palms. Oh, hello. Pil is it is it pronounced pilated gibbon or like pilated gibbon? Small eight found in pairs made from trees. <laughs> so if they're found in pairs, where's the other one? It's just one, it's all alone. Aw. Poor little given. Where's your, where's your tree swinging, buddy? Maybe they're just not here yet. Yeah, it's only one of them. It's nice that uh, nothing's gotten stuck on the map yet. Haven't seen any birds just like stuck in the middle of nowhere. Which is good to see. Are we done with that furniture? We are done with the furniture. Alright. So we need... Chest. And we need some cabinets. Be a good idea to keep our manager happy, so I'm gonna give that to Kumel. And Uvash, apparently. Because I forgot they were married. Came from the last fort. Although it is a grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, the supply caravan from the odorous portals is a welcome sight. Their eyes were light with the anticipation of inspecting the splendid products of your of your industrious craft dwarves. Take careful stock of your own stores. What these merchants offer might very well be the difference between a prosperous future and a slow and meaningless death. Merchant in trade off first. Um, I think we'll just like put this here for now. Yeah, he hello dwarves. Nice spikers. 
It's just, uh, yeah, this is the same outpost liaison I've always had. I was a little worried that the outpost liaison like died in um in frostbite, but no, they're fine. I don't think they were here when the uh when the uh the, the certain dwarf showed up. Bring me more uh, mango wood if you could, dwarfs. No, no option for mango. I guess not. Not from man probably can't find mango where we're from. Um What do I need from them? I'm not even really sure. Probably just leather. It's usually leather is what I need. And also probably a good idea to get some uh some cloth, maybe. Alright. Feels pleasure remembering putting on an exceptional item. I don't think they still have those, right? No, in fact, he has a broken shoe <laughs> and a broken dress. Just a bunch of broken clothes. Here's my Nautilus shell amulet, Nautilus shell earring. I guess we'll trade them the Nautilus shell crafts. I don't really know what else we'd give them, right? Where are you going, dwarf? I am just making blocks. Fair enough. There we go. Trade Depot is getting made. Lovely. Merchants have arrived. I wonder if the elves have noticed this yet. Nope, still nothing. No contact. We're too sneaky. Um, yeah, grab all those not all shell amulets. Grab the bracelets. Grab the crowns. All the figurines, all the earrings. Is that um all of the crafts? I think so. No, rings also. There we go. Bring all of those to the trade depot, please, dwarves. Did you know that you can pet giant crabs? I did know that, yeah, like in, in adventure mode. Because you can like, uh... Isn't it like if you have hands, you can pet like anything? Yeah, it's really cool. Hazelwood Nell. It's pretty cool. Nell might be something to consider. <sighs> We're a future tavern. Um... A goose? <laughs> Lots of different barrels of milk. We'll grab some beer, I guess. Why not? Is there anything else here that we like really want? A few more bags might not be a good might not be a bad idea. Just so we don't have to like bother making those. And cloth in case of strange mood. Maybe not the whole bin, just like a few of each, right? Do you have any cave spider? Yeah, there we go. And also, give me... a cave lobster. A couple of cave lobsters, and a cave fish. There we go, trade. Thank you. Very kind of you. Domesticate them? Yeah, yeah, you can. Like, a, like catch and uh, train them. This isn't a uh, Untamed Wild, so I don't think we'll see giant crabs here, but I've actually done that on a previous fort. 
I um and I used the giant crabs as like fortress defense. I uh caught a bunch of giant crabs and like bred them and like domesticated them. And then I like put all the giant crabs in a really big pit. It had like a bridge going over the pit. And then when like goblins were made it or whatever, I would uh like um drop the drawbridge while they were walking across it and they would fall in a pit with the giant crabs. The giant crabs like weren't super combat effective because they're still just like crabs, right? But like after the fall damage and then like with just like how many giant crabs I have, the, it was it was like kind of effective. And also the fact that you can't like actually war train giant crabs meant they weren't like as effective in combat as they could be. Which like apparently you can make animals war trainable by just like going into the raw files and just like adding a flag that makes them uh, war trainable. Which honestly might not be a bad idea. Like if we have a fort with like a like a really cool specific animal that we like want to use in the fortress defense, I might just like do that, right? Just like uh just like make them war trainable. Are we still making the shell crops? Doesn't look like it now. Uh make me some more please, dwarves. Nope, don't have any. <laughs> Use them all up. Seems like you can do quite a lot by modifying the files. Yeah. Funny how, uh, funny how modding works, right? <laughs> but like, yeah. There's, um, like, even without, like, going to the Steam Workshop or whatever. The Steam, even without going to, like, the Steam Workshop. There's, like, a surprising amount of things that you can change by just going to, like, the... By just, like, opening up the files in, like, Notepad or whatever. And, like, changing a few values. Like, I, I'm terrible at, like, coding stuff, but even I can do that. Um, actually, before uh, they added... Or is it? Yeah, before they added this announcements menu, the only way to change your announcement settings was through those, um... those, like, files. So, I guess, like, I wonder if, like, maybe, um... at some point in the future, like, all of those settings might be available through just, like, menus in the game. Could be kind of interesting. Though I guess um like changing the announcement settings is uh quite a bit different than like actually like modifying the the way the game like functions. Like those are two like very different things, right? Also my stockpile is completely full now. So can we fill in this? Do we have enough for this? Just barely not. We'll just wait a moment. Ah, my fishing resolve is like actually socializing. Oh, because I removed their like fishing spot. That's right. One of my dwarves is like kind of unhappy. Who is it? Kumel. Probably just unhappy about like the the bad memory she had of Berry Brew. Like a uh... There's probably a lot of death that she saw, yeah. Saw a dead body. Became more anxious, yeah. Learned to value peace. Maybe that's why she came out to this little, um... This little beach fort. She's, she's just on holiday. Also, the gibbon just ran across the roof. Bye-bye, gibbon. Still just the one gibbon on the map. He's terrified. Ne needs to find the pair, right? The other given. Alright, can we do this now? There we go. So. That's four. It's four out. Three out on these sides. So I'm going to make like a little like pattern in the floor. Oh, not really like a pattern, but like a... Just like a thing in the floor. And this will be, like, the, uh, the fishing hole. The dwarves will, like, come here to fish. And maybe we could put, like, a glass outline around this. That could be really cool. Hmm. 
yeah, I'll assign this as a fishing hole. Why, I guess by doing this. Yeah. It's one off down, is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> that's, that's very helpful. Wait, how do I center it then? I guess I'm going to have to do like a slightly different shape. I guess like a... More like that. That's probably even now, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> I, I never would have noticed until it was like way too late. Need to set up a glassmaker's industry at some point, I guess. I think we'll, we'll also have like windows looking out, like looking out onto the ocean. That could be pretty cool. Still just the gibbon on the map, though. No, like, cool, like, fish or anything. Or like a um, non vermin fish, at least. And then I think uh, this is going to be like the tavern. Oh, more migrants. Uh, Zanag from the previous fort. Lady Grass, someone impaired. Her nose is broken. Her left hand is gone. You brought an ex military dwarf, were you? No, you just got in combat. What's about this is like one of the dwarves who like walked into my uh, trap hallway? Probably, right? A legendary metal crafter. Ooh, also from Barry Brew. I don't think we've had a dwarf that isn't from Barry Brute yet. A llama and a horse. Any more dwarves? No, it's just those two. Fair enough. Just those two. I want to see the wave pass over the uh, our little thing here. Any moment now. Oh, the wave is like forming here. Look at that. It doesn't actually like pass over here. Still, this looks pretty cool though. Make sure it just like comes up alongside this wall here. Neat. Source of unicorns and traumatized dwarves, apparently, yeah. Uh, Um, anything I need to get rid of here? No, the, it's outdoors, so we don't need to worry about that. What's the time? A little bit past 1am. Um, I think I might end stream here. Yeah. I feel very tired and I want to go get a snack, I think. Um, who's on right now? It's literally just me in the Dwarf Fort directory, apparently. I guess we'll, we'll go raid Demothy, yeah. In a moment. He's doing some drawing, looks like. There we go, fishing from the fishing hole. Look at that. Found a clownfish. It's interesting how they get like a uh, like you can't see the waves in a in a scene tile set, but the dwarves still get like pushed around by them a little bit. You can see them like yeah, they like kind of stumble and slow down a bit sometimes. It's kind of interesting. 
Why'd you make a figurine of? A figurine of bats. <laughs> That's a cool one. Um, yeah. I guess that's going to be it for this stream. So let's uh, save it here, I guess. So thanks for watching, everyone. And I guess I'll see you all next stream. I, I'm hoping to uh, like stream more frequently. Uh, so I didn't like stream at all last week. So I'm kind of like planning on streaming more frequently, but we'll see how we go, I guess. Um, yeah. So, yeah. There's the raid. Hi there, Fuzzball. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. Uh, thank you for the follow. Um, Schnabel. Schnabel switching? <laughs> Sorry, I probably like got that super wrong, but thank you for the follow. And uh, I'll, I'll see you all uh, next time. Bye!